Hello guys, in this video we're going to create uh, a uh, header in uh, Adobe XD. So let's start the project by selecting the web 1920 and um, as you can see here in the drop down you also have some other values and in case you want some uh, uh, specific uh, custom values you can simply enter them in the custom size but for this project we're going to use this one so let's just double click on this and uh, as we can see uh, adobe xd opened uh, um, file with uh, a uh, artboard by default. So this is going to be the artboard in which we're going to work on the project. And uh, let's uh, start the project by creating uh, a logo on the top. So I'm just going to make up uh, a logo uh, just on the spot. And uh, I'm going to make it uh, a text logo. Actually, let's, uh, um, yeah, we'll, we'll use a Helvetica for this project. So Helvetica Neue. And uh, let's make the logo a little bit on the blue. Let's give it a blue tint, maybe a dark one. Okay. And let's adapt it over here. Now I just duplicated the uh, text with uh, Alt. So if you select a text layer and you keep uh, Alt clicked, uh, the first thing that you're going to see is the measurements around the object. But if you click and drag it, you can see that you duplicate it real fast. This can be very useful. So I'm just going to make a other text. Let's make this a little bit smaller. We're going to make it around 16 pixels. And uh, let's make this one centered. We're also going to change the text color to make it just a little bit of a gray but I still like to uh, keep a little tint of uh, blue and uh, I'm going to duplicate this and uh, do this again and one more time so we're going to have the about us then the services then the testimonials page and finally a contact us page let's grab all of these let's make them to the right and uh, I'm going to make the height uh, just a little bit smaller so I'm also going to make the logo just a little bit uh, tighter and uh, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of letter spacing so that uh, it breathes a little bit more I uh, just like this feeling for this example that we're building and uh, yeah this is, uh, this is pretty much it for this uh, start um, other thing that I'm going to do is to create uh, an, uh, a background image so let's just create a rectangle and uh, we're going to bring it below everything else so the way that you bring this rectangle below all the other layers is you just select it and uh, while you continue to select it you just uh, move it down and uh, this is going to bring it down uh, compared to the other layers because remember the first uh, layers from the top uh, to the bottom are always going to be the one that are going to appear in front of the other ones. Um, it's just like a, a hierarchy so just keep that in mind so we're going to uh, make this uh, let's give it a, a blue tint just like this um, and we're actually going to, to bring uh, an image below so actually I'm going to change uh, the color of the text and uh, I'm going to make them uh, all uh, white uh, since uh, we're going to create the um, um, overlay which I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Now I'm going to create the headline so this 
this is going to be the main headline and uh, since it's going to be the main headline I'm going, I want it to be bigger and uh, I want it to be centered so I'm going to center it over here and I'm also going to center it relative to the artboard which you can easily do with the options uh, over uh, here. I'm also going to bring down the um, the distance between the letters so it's going to be just a little bit more tight and uh, I'm also going to try with the medium and I think we're in pretty good shape one another thing that I'm going to do is um, going to make uh, a call to action button which uh, is going to be with a different color Let's go for a green, similar to these lines. Um, let's also, let's bring this one too to the center. And I'm going to duplicate this, bring it in the front of it. And this is going to be the call to action, which is going to say, start free trial. Let's make this one a little bit smaller just like this and uh, since now I see that the, uh, the text is blending a little bit in the background I'm going to make the call to action color just a little bit more uh, uh, dark but I'm still keeping it on this side of the hue so that uh, it, uh, it's still a pretty strong color now one thing that I'm going to do is going to find uh, a image which uh, I like uh, and um, I, which I think it's suitable for this project and uh, I'm going to use it uh, as the background uh, overlay image so in this case I already have uh, a few of these and uh, I'm going to use this image which uh, I found uh, on uh, Unsplash which is uh, a free royalty free um, place where you can uh, uh, find images so as you can see now the images have been substituted with uh, the uh, background rectangle now we can either keep it uh, as it is right now if you're happy with uh, um, how it looks and um, however we can also try something else which is uh, duplicating this this layer and uh, we let's bring it over here this is going to be the overlay so I'm going to uh, show it also over here so one thing that we can do with the overlay is that uh, let's say that um, we want to give it a, um, a little bit of a color and make the the text and all the other elements stand out even more you can simply select a color for this overlay which uh, could be something around these lines and uh, this is going to sit uh, on top of the main image and we can then uh, just uh, bring the opacity down just a little bit and as you can see you have this uh, uh, really nice uh, effect which um, basically allows you to um, have uh, another version uh, of this I'm also going to make the call to action a little bit smaller since I see that it's a little bit too big for my taste and uh, of course guys these are just uh, um, this is just something that I'm making up uh, on the spot uh, so there's a lot of room for improvement and, uh, and tweaks uh, and um, usually when I'm working on a client's project there is a lot more going on into this and um, there's a lot of more, more strategic thinking uh, thinking ahead about the uh, CSS how this is going to be implemented in a large scale project and uh, in a expandable way so yeah I, th I think we're in good shape for this uh, specific header and um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, if you have any questions or if you enjoyed this tutorial just uh, leave a comment below and uh, I will get back to you so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.